Dr. Sella here, and if you get into the over formation, which is you bring the receiver over and have him split the difference between the tackle and the receiver, put him up on the line of scrimmage, inside foot up, outside foot back, you got to figure out if the defense is going to bring somebody over to come over with the receiver or they're going to slide the safety over. This is what Paul Johnson did for years against single high safety defenses. He wanted to see if they would either slide the safety over and take a half man disadvantage or they would bring the safety, or excuse me, bring somebody over with the receiver so they would match the numbers and then he would run it to the nub. In high school, most of the time, if you go over, they're going to slide the safety. So when you run mid triple, the benefit of it is. If they give you an even front, the likelihood is they're going to align the B-gap defender to the over side because that's the formation side, which is good because you want to run Mitch. It's easier to run triple to a B-gap defender. So the receiver's going to take three steps up the field, and then he's going to get in front of the safety with his left knee, left hand, four his northbound steps. This receiver's going to sprint off the ball like a bat out of heck, and when he gets one yard away from the overhang, he's going to slam his hands through him. And he's going to keep his hands through him, and he's going to keep his toes north through the echo of the whistle. The A-back's going to take three flat steps, step at 45 degrees. He's going to trap the corner, helmet to the left, right for him, throw him, drive him out of bounds. Now, as far as the line goes, uh, the three technique, the tackle's going to veer inside, the guard's going to veer inside, the backer... If he runs over the top, the tackle will get his left knee through his crotch, left hand to the stomach, toes north. Then the guard will end up all the way on the backside corner. Uh, if he stays put or closes in on the dive, the guard will do, use the same technique and the tackle will end up on the corner. The center and the backside guard are going to reverse ace the two-eye technique with their near knee through his crotch, near hand to the stomach, four-inch northbound steps. While the backside tackle sprints his belly button through the hip of the backside guard, which cancels the backside B gap. Now, the quarterback's going to take the snap, jump in the backside A gap, point the ball. The B back's going to run through the ball, and then he's going to break off the guard's play side hip and score. That's why he can end up here or here, depending on where the backer goes, unless the three takes the B. And if that's the case, the quarterback recedes the ball, steps with his play side foot, replaces the three, and scores. And if the five technique takes the quarterback, quarterback immediately stops his feet, flicks the ball to the A-back coming around. So what happens is this A-back is going to hammer step, take two diagonal steps, and then on his fourth step, turn his belly button to the line of scrimmage to go and block the corner. So he's got to leave at the snap. So he's going to hammer step at the snap. He's going to take two diagonal steps, 235 degree steps, and then turn up at 60 degrees to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. So he's got to be really moving. So you got your three-on-two right there. You got your perimeter blocking right there. You got your tackle guard has the mic to the backside corner and double team here, backside scoop there. So that's how you run a midline triple out of over. Paul Johnson loved doing it because he wanted to see if the safety would slide or they would bring a full man over to match the numbers or they could do absolutely nothing at all and keep the safety in the middle of the field and sacrifice a full number. And if they're going to be, as my grandmother would say, stu nods about it, then you got to let stu nods be stu nods. All right. So uh, you need more, give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail. So is my website. I'll see you later.